Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome back to Final Fantasy. I am here in the town of Onrak. Uh, I bought 5th level spells for Quill and Lopo, including specifically the life spell for Quill. So for the first time in the game, I now have the capacity to resurrect a dead character, which is really nice. And I am hoping that I can, uh, let's see, do they have, do they just have the one magical, ah, screw it. I was hoping to find the, uh, uh, level six spell for Lopo, specifically lightning three. Uh, I thought that it was here. It would appear that it is not. Oh. It wouldn't have been all the way back at Crescent Lake, would it? Uh... It actually might be. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, the important thing is I can breathe underwater. Warriors, you have the Oxyale! The mermaids wait! Please help them! So, I get to take a submarine... To the sunken shrine. And now I have to start focusing again. Oh yeah, I also got the cat claw for Lopo because uh, it turned out after I sold the other stuff I had over a hundred thousand gold. So, wow. Okay, that Naga had lightning too. That really hurt. That was extremely unpleasant. Uh... Alright, well... I'm going to have to look out for the Naga, then. That is really problematic. Please kill her quickly. Okay, and she's got other magic, too. Hold, that can uh, paralyze you. Uh, they're not dead yet. Jeb? Anna? Please pick up the pace. I'm terrified of that thing. Thank you. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, at least I can put out lightning too every single turn. and I'm pretty sure almost everything in here is weak against lightning. <sighs> All right. There's two treasure rooms on this floor, uh, but I do not remember what anything is. So that's a bit of an issue. Ooh, sea snakes. What are you using anyway? You're using the ice sword. I should probably swap him out. Well, no, I don't feel like the flame sword would do any better than the ice sword, frankly. Uh, but what I could do, since Quill's basically just going to be on heal duty, I could swap the defender sword over to Anna for a while. Because that thing is actually the strongest uh, weapon I have on my team right now. So I might as well give it to someone who's actually going to use it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Alright, so we'll just make that little swap. And there. Now... Anna has an attack of 39, even higher than Jeb's. So what are you? Ah, you are 10,000 gold. I like that. So there are two treasure chests, or two stairways that lead away from this floor. 
Uh, one of them works its way toward the Fiend of Water, down at the bottom floor, and the other starts to work its way up toward the treasure rooms. I am going to try and get to the treasure rooms first. And I am moderately confident that I know which way to go to do that. I want her dead immediately. If everybody could just seriously kill her. I do not want her putting out that spell. <laughs> Come on, Jeb. I believe in you. Mm, there's the spell. That hurts so much. There's so... Look at that. There's so much variation. Like, Lopo took 17 damage, and other people took over 100. It is so... stupid how much some of these spells can just vary in their damage. Also, yes, I am back to using my healing potions again. And... everybody's good. Uh, is this the treasure room? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, more gold. That's fine. That's all the treasure on this floor. And some... Okay, sea trolls and lobsters. Why not? You know, you can hardly go a day without thinking, Boy, what would I find in a sunken shrine? Obviously, trolls and lobsters. I mean, one of those things clearly makes more sense than the other, right? It's not just me. Also, that lobster clearly has a scorpion tail. And, of course, it poisons. You just can't get away from the poison in this game. It's impossible to get away from poison. <sighs> okay. Come on, Anna. Get back into position. Take your pure potion and stop being poisoned. Thank you. Uh, that is the staircase I want. Probably. Okay, now where actually am I? Uh... I do not know this dungeon very well. What I do know is that uh, if I make it up to the treasure rooms, I believe there are no enemies on that floor at all. So I'm kind of banking on that. Uh, so far, sne sea snake. So far, sea snakes are not proving themselves to be particularly tenacious adversaries. I'm getting tongue-tied. Come on, knock him out, knock him out. I believe in you. By the way, there's also the possibility that I'll just accidentally go in the wrong direction and just end up killing the Fiend of Water. That's also a possibility. Uh, I would have no issue with just killing the fiend if I found myself there. Ah, another sip of my tea. Good stuff. Actually, completely generic stuff, but that's okay. Uh, where... Where am I? I don't actually know where I am. Um, I think, oh, okay, now I know. So there's, there's a treasure in there. Uh, great sharks and big eyes. All right. Well, I'm not that worried about fighting this flying spaghetti monster. 
Uh, admittedly... Oh. Blinding them, huh? Yeah, not too worried about that. Uh, admittedly, the shark probably is a bit more dangerous since... I mean, if we are underwater and we need air to breathe, I assume that the shrine is not just sunken, but flooded? So, unlike the ones we fought on our boat, I think this shark might actually be capable of locomotion. That is usually a thing that makes things harder to fight. Um... I don't think this treasure is anything I actually need. But I'm pretty sure... There... I consulted a map. And I am fairly sure that the treasure inside this big crescent-shaped room is not actually necessary. I think that was one of the things specifically on my list of don't bother to get. Ooh! That, however, was definitely on my list of things to get. Uh, congratulations, Jeb. You now have the opal armor. Which brings your defense up to a staggering 68. Good work, Jeb. I am very proud of you. Go, go. I, I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know where I'm at now. Possibly. Uh, it, it is not... It is not beyond the realm of possibility that I have some inkling of my current location. Come on, don't need sea snakes. It is nice not just having to run from everything anymore. It's immensely satisfying to actually have uh, the power and the resources that I need to fight and defeat these things. Good work on the level up. How many spell slots is that for you now? Oof. That is nice. Alright, down we go. Ugh. You know, I would start running from them again, but uh, I really, really, really need Quill to get those 6th level spell slots. I need that exit spell. Uh... I may end up, if I just don't get it naturally here, I may just grind until he gets that slot. Because uh, where I am going, I really need it. Or do I? Is there a quick exit out of the fortress? I feel like there might be a way to just sort of teleport out of the fortress. I don't... It's... It's been a few years since I last played this game all the way through. Uh, Quill, please tell me you got a 6th level spell slot. You did not! And it will take you almost 12,000 experience to level up again. So, yeah, we're going to fight everything we see. That's just how it's gonna go. Alright, here's my next treasure room. What now? Oh, two great sharks. Okay. I can handle two great sharks. Especially when I have the Zeus Gauntlet! And good job, Quill, throwing out those very tiny bits of healing every turn. They are actually a lot more helpful than you might think. And Jeb... Good job with that coral sword. 
And Anna, wonderful job with that defense sword. I am very pleased with how strong you are using it. And if I'm in a situation where Lopo has to attack uh, with the Cat Claw weapon, he now has an attack value of, I think, 27. So, um, he's not going to be hitting the freight train like Jeb is, but Lopo is now fully capable of putting out respectable amounts of physical damage. Holy crap, yeah, like that. I'm glad I just demonstrated. I was also curious what the attack animation for the Cat Claw would be in... Apparently, the answer is exactly the same as the knife. Alright. This is the Light Axe. It casts Harm 2 when used. That's the uh, White Mage only spell that hits all the undead on screen for quite a bit of damage. Well, well, well. Isn't this a convenient little demonstration? Hi, ghosts! You're about to have a bad time! Well, uh, I didn't think I'd get to show it off in the Sunken Shrine, but, uh... You know, these ghosts just really wanted to show up and help me show off the power of my new axe, so... Please, Jeb, go... Good God, they hit hard! Oh, that is absurd! 77 on Jeb? I do not like that at all. Okay, lesson learned. These things do not screw around. We are breaking out all of our spells on these things. Holy crap! I wouldn't have messed around at all if I knew they could hit that hard. That's actually quite terrifying. Uh, well, thank you for being so cooperative with the demonstration, and please never fight me again. I did not like that. Uh, there is a mage staff. I think the Mage Staff actually casts uh, Fire 2, if I'm not mistaken. So we may now have uh, two weapons that can cast group damaging spells infinitely. I would be very pleased with that. Uh, we'll give it to Anna, since... I mean, you know, why not? Uh, actually, we'll give it to Jeb. Jeb can handle that, and, uh... Anna can have the light axe for now. Just in case. And then there's one more treasure room down there. So, come on, treasure room. What do you have? Oh! 12,000 gold! I'll take it. Alright, we did it! We reached the treasure room floor. This is excellent. Alright, that is an opal bracelet. That is a ridiculously good piece of armor. And it's body armor. So, we're just gonna put it on Lopo right now. So, Lopo now has 43 Absorb. Uh, I may end up swapping that over to Quill, actually, because that is really good. There's a bunch of mermaids here. If we cannot regain the power of water, we will become bubbles, then disappear. Yes, that is a piece of, uh, of mermaid lore that uh, you may not have been privy to. <laughs> Uh, when they lose control of water, apparently mermaids turn into bubbles. You have responded to me! That is one of the weirdest pieces of dialogue I've ever seen. And that is saying something because I've played a lot of dating sims. 
My friend Daryl went to the land, then never returned. I've often wondered what happened. Maybe she grew legs and walked away. Ugh. God, is that a thing that can happen? I'm really confused on you mermaids. Unbelievable! You can breathe underwater? I'm impressed! Yikes. Uh, this dungeon floor is also unique in that it actually wraps around, so... I'm walking left, and I'm about to come over on the left side to this room. Because this is a very important room. For one thing, it has an opal helmet. And opal... Mm, can Quill wear that? No, of course not. Um... You know, Jeb got the last piece of opal gear, so we'll... Okay. Apparently only Jeb can use it, so Jeb gets it. Whoops. And we'll just drop that silver helmet. We found an opal gauntlet, uh, which we are basically never going to use. Uh, because it takes up the same uh, slot as the protect rings. And I am never taking those off again. But the real prize here was the slab. Oh yes. This slab. This mysterious giant rock is what I came here to get. And as anyone who has seen Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series knows, a giant rock is a truly great treasure. Alright, there's some more gold. Hello there. Please save the sea and make the orb shine again. Yeah, I'll work on it. And this is more gold. I suppose you are the legendary. These mermaids have some of the weirdest dialogue in the whole game. Are we going to become bubbles? Again, I'm not even sure if that's a thing that really happened, so... I don't know how to answer your question, madam. And 5,000 gold there. Oh, I love this room. As long as the fiend of water lives, we... Oh, boo-hoo! We what? Please! I am desperate for an understanding of your history, culture, and anatomy. This is the shrine's top floor. The fiend of water, Kraken, lives on the bottom floor. Yes, he does. What's in here? Oh, good. A pure potion. Yeah, that's useful. To unlock the Mirage Tower, the Leafinish used a musical tone. I mean... Those were certainly words. I, I can't fault her for that. And an opal shield. Uh, which I also believe Anna cannot use. Yeah, okay. So apparently Anna can't use any of the opal equipment. But Jeb certainly can. And now... Jeb has 74 points of absorption. That is ridiculous. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, Lopo, start warping. Yep, that's one floor back. That's another floor back. Will one more use teleport me outside the dungeon? Yes, it will. Well, I did it! Uh, I got the slab, which is what I was really after. This time, I will make sure to actually look up where I buy the uh, spell, even though I'm almost certain it's going to be in Crescent Lake. Because uh, I really, really want to get... Uh, Lightning 3, before I go back down there. Hello. You have light! <sighs> 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 
the dialogue in this game just blows me away sometimes. Uh... Okay, those are level 7 spells. Alright, so all the level 6s have to be in Crescent Lake then. Alright. That does make it easier. I'll stop by Crescent Lake. I will pick up the spells. And I will see you all on the next one.